Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. This video is way overdue. So here are my chicks that I ordered. These chicks came from Murray McMurray uh, Hatchery and I couldn't get the ones that I wanted. Um, and I looked around, everything I saw, anything I wanted, I couldn't get until like August. Um, this in the video is actually in April when I first received them. These are a special assortment um, I figured I could hopefully get what I needed to out of these um, few male females of whichever variety I wanted and then I can go ahead and breed them later but at least I'd have these whole bunch of them to be able to get started hopefully at least half of them or so would be hens All right, so here's my brooder box. It's just a simple four by eight sheet of plywood cut in half. Um, and then I actually used another section of the half uh, to do the ends and just stacked it up, screwed it together on the corners and then put some wire over the top of it. And uh, it's been working so far. The, uh, I've already got the feed and the water outside. Um, so I had those in here, and I also had the, uh, the heater there, the little brooder, um, and that one actually is for 50 chicks. I had 53 of them sent. I had ordered 50, get one free, and then they sent two extras. We've had a few die since, and I think I've got 47 left. And these 47, they all look pretty healthy, so um, they've been doing all right for several weeks. Today, I'm gonna, we've got warm enough temperatures, I'm gonna go ahead and try to take them outside. And then, uh, I'm gonna see what they do. I don't know if, uh, we'll just see how they react. I actually have the turkey out of the pen, which they're gonna go to all together, so I'm gonna try to slowly introduce that turkey, see what happens, and just watch and make sure it doesn't abuse these, all these little chicks. And, uh, but I'm going to, uh, and now the turkey's out. It's actually in where the pigs are supposed to be. And I don't know what's going on with it. It doesn't seem to even want to try to fly away. So it's, uh, it just hangs out in, in the pen cage all, or the, uh, the pig pen all day um, since I don't have the pigs yet. And uh, I don't know, it, it does fine in there so far. Normally at night I go ahead and put it in, the, in the, the main cage so it's thoroughly protected. I don't have to worry about too much. But let's go ahead and see if I can gather up these chicks. But I had the food hanging on next to the water. Tell you what, I didn't really realize it, but this right here is the, the way that I should have done it the second time. You'll see with my second batch of chicks, um, you'll see that I really messed up. And this wire that I've got on top of here, uh, it was really good to go ahead and leave it intact or leave it in place on top of here because it kept them from flying up right here. But you'll see what happened later on. This is their new pen. It's 16 by 10, I believe it is. 
Um, really want to use this as a greenhouse, but for now, it's going to be dual purpose. It's going to be used for my chicks, and uh, hopefully eventually I can get something set up to where they can be outside, and I can use this just for the greenhouse only. But you can see whenever I flipped it up, they did not want to come out. You just kind of have to dump them a little bit. Uh, each and every single batch that I brought out here, because this first one, 50 chicks, that's a lot to put in one little tote. So I went ahead and split it up and did it three times. But yeah, and every single time I had to dump it or tip it forward and then dump them out because they really did not want to come out of it. And of course, they're scared, so what do you expect? I would have thought by now though, on this last one, that whenever I flipped it up, that they would see the other chicks out there, that they would just go ahead and run out to them, but they didn't even attempt it. You can see this one here gets brave and comes over to them, but yeah, they won't come out on their own. So again, I had to, I had to go ahead and dump them out, but once they were out, they were fine. So this is my second order of chicks. These are the, the black Australorps. And I actually got these, uh, I guess somebody had a cancellation or something because they just popped up and showed available. So these are about a month behind the other ones that I got. So, so whenever I got these, I just went ahead and moved the other ones out, made room for these. And then roughly a month later, it's time for these to go outside. Of course, it's much warmer now, so they should be perfectly fine. I did bring the heater outside. So even if it was a little too cold for them, they did have a heat source. They could stay warm if they wanted to. <clears throat> um, but as you can see here, whenever I opened up the, uh, started grabbing these, they just went ahead and jumped out, started flying all over the place. And it made it a little more difficult. Um, luckily, I had these these pieces of plywood just laying up here. Um, I thought about using those originally to uh, to build this this brooder box, um, but I didn't really need it, so uh, I just left them down there. That's my basement. It doesn't really matter if they're down there, but it's a good thing they were there because I used them to be able to gather up those chicks. Here, I'm just going ahead and putting them inside the cage that the turkey used to be in, in here, um, which the turkey was in there just to keep it separated from all the other chicks because turkey can get pretty mean. And uh, so in this case, I'm actually using it for the new chicks to keep them separated from the old chicks. Um, the old chicks are a bit too big to be able to fit into this cage. They can't fit through the holes, um, but the new chicks can. They can fit, they can go through if they want to. Um, but they can always go back in if they need to be protected. So it worked out for a while to get them used to things. Um, just a little difficult right here trying to get them out of the box and then uh, and then get the box out of there. As soon as I started lifting up the box, even though the chicks were fine the way they were, I'm trying to take the box out of there, lift it up over the top, and whenever I do, they all get scared and, of course, run out. And I thought right then I was going to have just chicks fighting all over the place and uh, thought that I was going to lose a few of these chicks. Um, luckily though, 
Uh, none of them really got out. And, well, none of them got out and got hurt. The turkey was behind me. So when they did all get out, I was able to keep the turkey back just in case, you know, you never know what the turkey's gonna do. I've seen her at one point in time actually grab one of these chicks up by the head and be holding it up, you know, from, from its head. And I actually had to reach and stop her real quick. So you never know. As you can see, it's been a few months, uh, I think about four to be exact. And I've got the chickens, they, the netting is this there as a general just to keep them in. A um, few of them like to jump over, lay their eggs outside or outside the fence in the taller grass. Um, and they like to get away from the roosters. All of these, all of these uh, chickens, they were straight run. So it's probably maybe a little more than half are hens, but it's pretty close. Um, you, what you see here, I've already gotten rid of. Let's see. First off, I uh, I lost one. Not sure what happened, but I guess they probably attacked it inside the inside the pen overnight. Um, came out to a dead one in the morning. And then I lost two whenever I was uh, keeping the electric fence on during the day. Um, and it turns out this this is way too hot for them. Um, uh, it's too much going on with all the roosters and everything, so they they just too much chaos chaos. And they uh, you know so they were trying to get out, get away from the other roosters and stuff. Sometimes they were trying to get back in, um, and when it happened, they get stuck in the netting, and they basically get electrocuted. So I lost two of them that way, and then. Let's see, then I sold seven. Uh, I had five hens and five roosters, or five hens and two roosters um, of a breed that I just didn't want, but they were desirable, so I sold those. And uh, and then I went and, and um, well, we've got a few over here that are, that are separated because they just can't get along with the general population. They, uh, they just mangle them. One of them has had its head opened up twice. Uh, the other ones have had sores or had most of the feathers pulled off and things. Um, so they're kind of separated. And, uh, and then I've actually gotten rid of uh, the first batch of roosters, about 12 roosters. Um, we put those in the freezer. Um, I've got a whole bunch more to go, but I will get to those soon. So um, as you can see, all the black ones here, these are the Australorps. They, uh, they are actually growing out pretty well. I think they're about the size now to where I can go ahead and Go ahead and harvest them um, and keep all the hens. And let's show you the inside of the pen. So here I've made some nesting boxes. Actually plan on making another eight to go on this side and then another eight to go on the other side as well. Um, but right now they're just starting to lay so they don't really need it. Um, first I put those, put those just below the, uh, the roost. This right here is enough for all of them to roost. Um, I've still got the barrel over here. As you can see, the turkey likes to get up there. The turkey likes to get up there in the middle of the night. So um, that's that's her roost. She doesn't. She prefers that over the other. So I just leave it in here for now. And it looks like we may or may not be keeping the turkey. Uh, haven't really. Thanksgiving's a while. Wait, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's a ways away. So we're still not sure. It's about. It's the beginning of October at the moment, and uh, so I'm not really sure whether or not we're going to keep her or whether or not we're going to have her for Thanksgiving, but she's getting big. She's, I picked her up this morning, and she's probably, I'm guessing, probably pushing about 30 pounds. So, yeah, it's, it's time to get rid of her. And just to show you, here's all my pigs. I've got five of them. 
and uh, I'll tell you the story in a separate video for them. Um, tell you what all is going on with them and as far as uh, what I feed them, how things are going, what my plans are for them, and, uh, and all that in the, in the separate video. But, but this is my chickens. So my goal is to only keep probably three roosters. Um, I think I'm going to breed the white ones that you can see inside there. I'm going to breed the black ones, the Osterlorbs, and then I'm going to breed the... Uh, uh, let's see. You see one that has its tail sticking out of the out of the roosting box there. Um, not sure what that is. There's two of them right there. So we got two of them right there that I plan on breeding those. Look like two hens, and uh, I think they'll make good good stock. We'll have to wait and see. But those are the ones I plan on keeping. So one rooster for each of those. Maybe. Maybe two for the, the Australorbs just to make sure that I got good fertilization and just in case I lose any. Um, but yeah, the rest of them are probably going to go. And we'll just keep the hens. Keep the hens as layers. Well, there you go. That's uh, all the chickens and gobbles. And uh, she loves this. So we'll do another video about the pigs here shortly. Hope you like this. Sorry it's been a long time since making any videos. Um, just couldn't see exactly where to get started again but I decided what the heck we're just gonna go with it so um, hopefully I can make some more videos here shortly and uh, hit that bell notification like subscribe all that good stuff and until next time y'all take care